Good evening my lovelies, it's Kale here and I hope that you are doing very 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 well um, that's three varies? Yes, very 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 well um, so it's been a few days since my last vlog but I did have some content um, on the weekend which was I did a video of myself versus dailies um, which was I did a whole bunch of games that all have a daily challenge, which was uh, Quarries of Scred, Seas of Scred, obviously my own games, um, Crypt of the Necrodancer, which is a fantastic one, and Linus Inception and Dr. Space Zoo. Um, so I will link that, and you should check that video out. Um, one of the things that was really good about that was that um, one of the challenges I did really poorly with, and that's okay video lengthwise because it kind of gets absorbed into the others. One of the downsides was that it took a really long time to process and I actually had to reduce the video size because Australian internet is terrible and trying to upload 500 meg just isn't going to work unfortunately unless I take it to work or something like that. Uh, so bouncing off that, um, this weekend I was also involved in one of my least favourite activities which is assembling flat packs. Uh, my wife and I picked up some wardrobe flat packs from IKEA and um, it's <laughs> it's not the most pleasant experience. Um, they were too big to fit through the doors and it was just a lot of hassle. Um, I'm used to reject shop flat packs which are basically all assemblable with a set of allen keys uh, which is fantastic. This one required a hammer and funnily enough I found out I don't actually have a hammer anymore. I so I don't know where my hammer is, so I had to go find a hammer, um, put together this monstrous wardrobe, it's huge, uh, and the great joy is that we have two of them, so I'm going to have to go through that again this weekend. Um, but while I was doing it, the whole time I was reminded of a video by Suddenly Ninja um, doing a preview or a introduction of a game called Home Improvisation. Uh, which is basically an IKEA simulator and um, you'll see how successful he was in that video that's roughly how successful we were at the start of this thing because the instructions were not fantastic so uh, yeah I'll link you to that one as well I am making little box motions with my hands um, I really need to get a webcam so you can see this stuff that I do which is just weird uh, speaking of weird um, this week I actually read Weird Sisters uh, by Pratchett, that's a Discworld novel, um, and that's a really big shift in pace from I've been reading Asimov and Philip K. Dick, um, and so I sort of thought that I would change back to more of a funny sort of thing, so I went for Weird Sisters because uh, I recently read Equal Rights, and um, it seemed a lot longer, maybe twice as long as other Discworld novels, I'm not sure. Um, but it felt like it really dragged in some places, but in other places it was really good. And I always liked the plotline from Macbeth, and I think that Weird Sisters does it really, really, really well. So that one's worth a read. So I was worried that I wouldn't have any content for this uh, vlog. Again, I'm doing weird things with my hands. Um, and so I just quickly asked Twitter uh, for a few questions that maybe I can answer. And so here's one from DaleMon42 on Twitter. And it says, who are you and why are you in my house? And the answer is, I am here to clean the pool. Uh, a question from Rem. Um, do you think J.J. Abrams will do a good job on the new Star Wars movie? And the answer there is, I think that practically anyone can do a better job on the Star Wars franchise than some of the more recent offerings. So, you know, the bar's already pretty low. Um, that said, I'm not actually familiar too much with what J.J. Abrams has done, so um, feel free to educate me in the comments by telling me what sins have been committed. Um, as long as it's not like heaps of explosions like, you know, the Transformer movies that I've seen. Um, and then I've also got, uh, are you the head of the Quickie Mart from Benny Nitro? And as a follow-up, really, um, 
No, but who needs the quickie mutt? I do. Um, I've also got, uh, should Krabbins become Supreme Overlord of the World, what would his first act be from uh, Galef? And the answer is obviously have a really nice rockery designed, like a big rock pool, um, to act as a throne room. If you want to talk to Krabbins, you'll actually have to submerge yourself into the rock pool in order to have a conversation with Supreme Overlord Krabbins. Um, and I know that you said should, but the reality is that it's uh, a reality. It's going to happen, so best we start planning this bitch and rock pool right now. Uh, and then finally, Stone asks, what is your day job? Um, by training, I am an engineer. Um, I'm not going to talk about my current job, but in the past I've designed aviation fueling equipment and industrial labelers, and I've worked on trucks. Um, so I've done some really cool stuff, or at least I consider it to be really cool. But some of it's been satisfying and some of it hasn't been, and that largely derives from the culture of the companies that I've worked at. Um, some of them had a high amount of pride for their product, and some of them really didn't. So um, I'm really happy because my current job, our sense of pride, um, which comes from the top, is really quite high. We do the best that we can do. So there you go. Okay, uh, now from the educational perspective, I would like to direct you to a video that is about colouring wood panelling. Um, it's the tail end of a series of videos on, I think it was called pyrography, um, otherwise known as burning designs into wood. Um, but this particular video is done at the end of a project where the host actually colours some wood panels and I thought that that was interesting so uh, if you direct your eyes to the comment there will be a link there and now I've gone hideously over time so I will catch up with you guys later and um, I hope that you take very good care of yourselves don't forget to take your meds if you should and um, be good to each other I'll see you later